What's up everyone and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you my Altoid Smalls survival kit. Before getting into it, I just want to clarify that I put this together just for fun, mainly to see what I could actually fit into the tin. I wouldn't suggest that anyone go into any potential survival situation with this small amount of gear. Always plan ahead and have the proper items on hand in case you find yourself in a less than ideal scenario. With that said, let's have a look at the kit I put together. The first thing I want to do is give you an idea of exactly how small this tin is. Here's a quick size comparison of a standard Altoids tin with the Altoids Smalls tin. In my opinion, even the full size Altoids tin is too small for the proper amount of gear to keep you alive in a survival situation. So, finding any useful gear that would actually fit in this smaller tin was definitely going to be a challenge. What I chose to add was based solely on my location and the weather for this time of year. So let's have a look inside. I wrapped the outside of the tin in electrical tape to keep it from shaking open and to give it a little bit of waterproofing. The first item I included was a guitar pick. Guitar picks are made from cellulose and burn very well. I find that the thinner picks actually work best for this. I removed this mirror from a retractable mirror I found in the automotive section at Dollar Tree. It'll be great for signaling and for personal hygiene. In the lid, I included a couple of butterfly band-aids for sealing up deeper wounds. I added a couple of aqua tabs for purifying water, assuming I'm able to find a container to use them in. These two tabs will purify up to two liters of water. I made a couple of fire starters by sealing Vaseline coated cotton balls inside these pieces of straw. I found this little folding knife on Amazon for under $10. It's surprisingly sharp and will be perfect for making shavings to get a fire started. Finding a flashlight that would actually fit in this tin was difficult, but the Streamlight Nano fit perfect. There wasn't enough room for a significant amount of cordage, but I did manage about 5 feet of Kevlar line. It's wrapped up in a couple of gold twist ties. I only wanted to add medications for conditions that could severely impact my survival. I decided on a couple of anti-diarrheal tablets. And two tablets of Benadryl. I tossed in a small set of tweezers because they're always useful and they fit perfect in the tin and help to keep things from rattling around. For fire starting, I added six standard matches. If this were a practical kit, I would definitely change these out for stormproof matches. I put the strikers in the lid with double sided tape. I added three small safety pins, which are great for clothing repairs or even an improvised fishing hook. I also added a small sewing needle, which can also be used for a number of different things. And to go with the needle, I added about 10 to 12 feet of white thread. I put the thread in a straw just to keep it from wrapping around everything in the tin. The last item that I added was actually a small magnet that I pulled out of the inside of an old pair of earbuds. 
I can use the magnet to magnetize the needle and then hang it from a piece of the thread to make an improvised compass. And that's the complete contents of my Altoids Small Survival Kit. Let me know in the comments what you would add or change to make this kit your own. There really isn't a practical use for a kit this small, but it was definitely fun to make. I'm sure the items in this kit could keep you alive in a pinch if you had a little bit of survival knowledge to go with it. But that's about it for this video. As always, if you enjoyed this video, definitely leave it a like. If you didn't, feel free to leave it a dislike. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel, and I'll see you in the next video.